Hi, my name is Jennifer Long, and I'm here to talk about copyright protection and the legal ways to use another artist's work. There are two ways to legally use something that has a copyright. One is something called Creative Commons. If an artist decides that they would like to share their work, they can do so by getting a Creative Commons license. There are several different types of Creative Commons license, so by doing this, they can still decide how you're allowed to use their work. Even if something is copyright free, you should still respect the artist by giving them credit. This is called attribution, and it is also the most open and uninhibited Creative Commons license an artist can choose. From there, they can also decide if you can tweak or build on their work, whether you can use it commercially to make a profit, require you to obtain the same Creative Commons license that they have on it, or any combination of these preferences. But again, this is a free license on top of an artist's copyright that he or she must decide to get. When a Creative Commons license is not applied, there is still a way that the courts can decide if you're violating someone's copyright. In other words, the court can decide if it is fair for you to use someone else's work or if it is copyright infringement. This is known as fair use. The artists themselves cannot determine this. There are four key factors that go into deciding, and it is by no means a black and white decision. But they consider the purpose for using it, for example, using something for nonprofit, educational, or parody purposes versus commercial or entertainment purposes. The next thing they consider is the nature of the work being used. In other words, are you using something that was factual, educational, or published versus a fictional, highly creative, or unpublished work? The third factor is the amount being used in relation to the original work as a whole. Are you trying to use an entire song or a few seconds long clip from a movie? Lastly, they consider the effect it could have on the original work. Will they possibly lose profits if its use is allowed? These factors are a good standard to work from for the most part. However, I don't completely agree that the amount of the work used should always be a factor if all the other requirements are met. For instance, if something is being used for educational purposes, then wouldn't limiting the amount allowed to be used just increase the chance that the original message or purpose be misunderstood? As an artist and a future filmmaker, I love the idea of Creative Commons. I think it is highly beneficial to collaborate ideas and allow others to learn and grow from your work. However, you have to protect yourself legally by copywriting your work first. If you show someone a script, short film, or clip that isn't protected, you could just be handing them a blockbuster idea.